Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. I think I'm live. Alrighty. What's up, everybody? Um, welcome to my channel. I have something really, really cool to show you today. Uh, what you're looking at here is my PlayStation 3. It is jailbroke and uh, downgraded, and I'm running Fedora Linux um, on my console. Uh, here's my desktop. So, um, as usual, I'm uh, chilling here, um, building software on my PlayStation 3. Um, and I decided to experiment a little bit with uh, ChatGPT. And believe it or not, I freaking got it working. <laughs> Um, the, uh, operating system that I'm running is Fedora 12. It's a very old Fedora, but I've made a lot of, um, uh, upgrades, you know, to the system. And one of the things that I've upgraded is, uh, Python. I, I built it from source, Python version seven, seven point something. Hold on. tell you in a second what version I built um, Python 3 yeah Python 3.7 I built I built this from source and um, I'm not a Python programmer so like I I haven't really done much with it yet uh, up until today uh, apparently uh, Python 3 is pretty much all you need on your system, or Python uh, 3.7 3 or whatever, is apparently pretty much all you, all you need on your system to get ChatGPT up and working, and uh, even on a PlayStation 3, like <laughs> like what, what I'm using right now. Now, here's how, uh, here's how I start it. I'm going to change directories to a directory called chat GPT um, now I'm using I, I use something called a, a Python uh, virtual environment to run it to run it in uh, so I have to source uh, let's see chat GPT bin Activate. Okay. Now, I guess I'm in the uh, Python uh, virtual environment. Um, now, to use ChatGPT, I do... Um, oops. S G P T. I'm going to use the, the chat flag, um, and I have to name the, ch the chat session, so I'll just call it ChatGPT. And now in quotes, I can ask it a question or any, anything I like. Um, let's see, let's ask it, uh, do you know... What type of machine I'm using? Watch this. <laughs> ah, look at that. Yes, you're using a PlayStation 3 gaming console. Ha, 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 It's kind of scary. Well, it's not really scary that it knew, it knew that. Um, I, I told it um, 
before when I was playing around with it. So it must remember since I'm I'm using the same chat GPT session. Um, but yeah, the first time I asked it that question, um, it didn't it didn't guess the PS3 gaming console. It get it it told me that I was using um, uh, Fedora Linux, and it, and it even knew um, which uh, which release I'm using. I'm using Fedora 12, and it knew that. <laughs> um, here, I'll show you. Uh, do you know what operating system I'm on? PlayStation 3 gaming console uses a proprietary operating system developed by Sony Computer Entertainment. It is not based in Linux or any other commonly used. Oh, it doesn't know that I'm using um, other OS. <coughs> let's see. Let's let's give it a let's give it a challenge. Oops. Let's put our question in in the. Uh, um, quotation marks here. Uh, give me five reasons why the PlayStation 3 is is the best Video game console. Oh, this is freaky. Look at it go. As an AI language model, I cannot I cannot have personal opinions or biases, however. There are some features and capabilities of the PlayStation 3 that are often praised by gamers. PlayStation 3 has a powerful processor and graphics capabilities, which allow for high quality graphics and smooth gameplay. Okay. Console has a large library of exclusive games. Yeah, including popular franchises like Uncharted. That's one of my favorites. Uh, blah, blah, blah. PlayStation 3 was one of the first consoles to offer online gaming through the PlayStation Network, which allows players to connect, blah, blah, blah. The console has a built-in Blu-ray player. PlayStation 3 has a variety of multimedia features, including the ability to screen music and videos, browse the internet, and access social media. Okay, that was, that's a, that was a intelligent, uh, an intelligent answer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, okay, how about... <clears throat> what can you tell me about the cell broadband engine? Wow. The Cell Broadband Engine is a microprocessor chip that was developed jointly by Sony, Toshiba, and IBM, also known as ST STI, for use in the PlayStation 3 gaming console. It is a multi-core processor that consists of a PowerPC-based processing core and eight specialized coprocessors called SPEs, Synergistic Processing Elements. The SPEs are designed to handle specific types of tasks, such as graphics processing, 
and physics calculations. Wow, this is almost exactly what um, uh, what I said in my previous video talking about the um, the the CPU, the the cell CPU. That's the, and can work in parallel with the main processing core to improve performance. The cell broadband engine was considered to be a ground groundbreaking technology at the time of its release and its architecture has since been used in other high performance computing applications such as scientific research and medical imaging huh let's see Can you show me a Hello World program written in PowerPC nine seventy? assembly language oh wow he's excited certainly here's an example <laughs> look at that Here's an example of Hello World program in PowerPC 970 assembly. <laughs> Define entry point program, global start. Not sure what LIS means, but ADDI means add immediate. LI means load immediate. And SC, I think that stands for system call, if I'm not mistaken. This program loads the address of the string hello world into register R3. Then uses the oh yeah system call to print the string to the console. Finally, it uses another system call to exit the program. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have so much fun with this. <laughs> um... Oh, let me check my chat and see if anybody's anybody's come to visit. Uh oh. No chat. Okay. Um If you help me with my Java homework, could I consider that cheating? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow <laughs> as a AI language model I cannot make ethical judgments or decisions for you however it is important to consider your school's policies and guidelines regarding academic integrity and plagiarism um, that's actually those are outlined um, at the beginning of every class in a syllabus that's required if you are unsure whether receiving help with your Java homework would be cheating, it may be best to consult with your teacher or professor. Oh yeah, he wouldn't care. <laughs> Additionally, seeking help and guidance is a common and acceptable practice in learning. As long as you are actively engaged in the learning process and are not simply copying someone else's work. That is a really intelligent, thoughtful um, 
uh, answer, response to, to my question. Wow. This, uh, this AI uh, chat GPT stuff is uh, really, really impressive, I think. And yeah, so there you have it. There's a uh, chat GPT uh, working, work, work, working amazing, working like a charm on my PlayStation 3 video game console running Fedora Linux. How about that? <laughs> so I hope... Um, I hope you learned something. Oh, by the way, um, the website that I um, that I followed, the website that I, um, you know, you know, um, you know got the instructions from for how to uh, install ChatGPT um, in the terminal. Um, I'm gonna put that put that website um, in the description uh, for this video below. Uh, so that you can, uh, so that you can do this too on on your own computer, or on your own PlayStation Three, <laughs> you know, whatever the case may be. All right, I guess that's all I've got for today. Um, oh, and uh, by the way, you should probably subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, because um, uh, because I've got. Much more uh, interesting PlayStation 3 content uh, coming up in the near future. Um, and uh, stuff to, uh, information to share about the Cell Broadband Engine, uh, if you're into that kind of thing. And let's see. Let's do one more. Uh, One more little chat, please. Tell my YouTube viewers to subscribe and have a nice day that might not work <laughs> it doesn't know it's on YouTube <laughs> I don't have the ability to interact with YouTube <laughs> however I can suggest that you create a video or message to your viewers asking them to subscribe to your channel and thanking them for their support oh here we go so to all the viewers out there please Consider subscribing to the channel and have a nice day. What a friendly AI chatbot. Huh. This this put this put me in a good mood. It's it, today was a good day. This this was a good night. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess that's it for me. Uh, have a wonderful uh, evening. Thank you for watching my YouTube show.